हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर कंप्यूटर क्लासरूम सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी आर डिस्कसिंग चैप्टर सिक्स अबाउट एच टी एम एल टैग्स सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंट बेसिक एच टी एम एल टैग्स हाउ वी कैन सेव एनी फाइल इन एच टी एम एल फॉर्मेट एंड इफ वी हैव सेव एनी एच टी एम एल प्रोग्राम एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी दैट हाउ the web page will appear any in any browser so how to open that so let us revise the things which we have covered in the previous class then we will move to the next topic so if we come to the textbook uh, we have seen the basic html tags in which uh, the these tags which are also called as building blocks of the html because in all of the html program or the web pages we design we write these tags so because of this they are also called as building blocks of the html so first tag which we use is html tag so any of the html program when we write uh, the html tag in the beginning so by these tags the browser will interpret that the program which is written inside this this is a html program and as this is a container tag it is required to be closed also so with the opening tag we have used the closing tag at the end of the program or whatever the text we have written so this closing tag is written with the forward slash then after the html tag we write the heading tag so heading tag are those tags which are used to give the a uh, basic information of the web page for example the title so this title will be written within this head tag clear so this is the second uh, you can say after the html we include the heading tag so the tag name is head clear and in this heading tag we will write the title tag so here you can see the example so here the first tag which was written was html tag and after html we have written this heading and within this heading tag the title is written so the title tag is used for uh, writing the title so when we open this program in any of the web page so the uh, title or you can say the title of the tab so this web page will have a name so whatever the text we are writing within this title tag the same is going to appear on that browser tab clear so that is why the title tab is used so this title tag is also a container tag so the beginning and closing both tags are written and this title tag is written within the heading tag clear now next after this heading tag we write the body tag so body tag also we have seen that body tag is that tag where the main content of the web page is written so any of the text paragraph or if you are willing to uh, include any table images clear so all this is the main content and this can be written within this body tag clear now next we have seen that how to display any web page in web browser so for displaying any web page first requirement is first we need to save our file with the dot html extension or dot htm so we can use any of the browser to open so here in the book a example is given uh, of using the internet explorer so nowadays this internet explorer has been replaced by edge clear microsoft edge is the new browser in place of internet explorer which is provided by microsoft clear so in this uh, example the same steps are given so when you go to the any of the browser there have the file uh, in the menu bar we have the file option when we click on this file we have the open command so when you click on this open this gives you the dialog box to choose any of the file which you have saved or directly when we click any of the html program which is save with dot html directly it opens in the browser so both way these files can be 
opened in any of the browser to see that how the web page is appearing clear and after this we have started the new tag which is paragraph tag so what is the use of the paragraph tag paragraph tag is as we uh, also use some of the word processing or as something is written in the pages so any of a new paragraph is started with some space or after one paragraph we have uh, we can press the enter key to go to the next paragraph but in the html pages or the browser will not uh, interpret this enter button when we are writing any new line clear so to differentiate the one paragraph to another we use this paragraph tag to move to the next paragraph and for that we use the paragraph tag which is denoted by this p clear so this p tag is used for the new paragraph clear and we have the alignment option with this we can use the left center and right alignment so these are the attributes with any of the tags clear so this align attribute will be used with the paragraphs to set the alignment of the text which is going to appear in that web page clear so if we see the example here let us erase this first so we have uh, seen that this is example of the paragraph tag where something if it is written in multiple lines so if we want to include a new paragraph we can use the paragraph tag which is denoted by p clear and as this paragraph tag is also a container tag so we need to close this tag so we begin with the p and close this with the forward slash p so this is the closing tag so the number of times we want to include these paragraphs we can use the paragraph tag and what will be the use of this this will be used to start a new paragraph clear so the example of this also we have seen in the previous class let us see uh, again the example which we have written earlier so here let us close this so if i close this this was the uh, web page which we have written earlier clear so this uh, you can see that in this example uh, we have saved our program with multiple paragraph tags clear so if i show you uh, the code of that paragraph tag so this was the html program which was written so here you can see these are the paragraph tags which are used in this text which is written there clear so you can notice this opening and closing tag of the p and back forward slash p clear so this is how any paragraph uh, tag is used and this way the same appearance uh, will appear in the web page so here if we uh, see the web page once again so here is clear so this is how any web page can be designed with the use of paragraph tag and the basic tag which we have seen they are the same like html then whatever the head and body tag which we are uh, discussing so the title is written within this heading tag and whatever the name which is written in within this title tag the same will appear in the tab name clear and this is the paragraph and after this we have closed the body and html tag okay now moving again to the textbook after this we have the use of new line clear so maybe uh, we are not writing something in a paragraph if you want to move to the new line so what is the tag which can be used for going to the new line this is the br tag which is also called as break tag clear so let us read this first so you can insert a line break to instruct the browser to break the text and go to a new line you can use the line break tag that is br to control where you where your text breaks clear so suppose you are writing something for example here you can see in this example if you are writing some address 
so for the address uh, most of the time the address is written in multiple lines in a similar way this uh, there can be any of the text where the text is required to be entered in multiple line so for that if we'll press the enter key uh, normally while writing the program that is done in the text editor program like wordpad or ms word clear but when we are designing any web page so the in the web browser will not interpret that uh, inter, uh, the a new line by pressing the enter key so for that so that the browser can understand that there is a new line we use the pr tag clear so that is why the br tag is used in all of these lines where we want a line break clear so the same is written here in this paragraph web browsers normally wrap test automatically when a line of a text reaches the right side of the browser window it breaks and continues on the next line you can also use the br tag to add blank lines between the paragraphs clear so normally when we are writing something at it reaches to the end of the browser window so the web browser will automatically continue in the next line that is called as wrap text feature this is with all of the word processors also but if the uh, if the text is not reaching to the end and if you want to uh, insert a new line so for that we can use the br tag so this br tag can be used between the paragraphs wherever we want a new line uh, to go to the next line so br tag before this all of the tags which we are discussing they were all container tag so br tag is a empty tag so with we already know that empty tag is that tag where only the opening tag is used clear so we don't need to write the closing tag of the br because this is the empty tag and you can notice the same here that all of these address lines which are written only the starting or the opening tag is there there is no closing br tag clear so this is the example of how to use the uh, br tag for writing something in multiple lines let us see this practically that how we can use the br tag so if i uh, close few of these let us see a example of this so this is a program which is written uh, with some address clear so all of the other tags are the same we have started with the html tag then the heading tag is there and whatever the title so we are right now discussing the new line feature so we can write a similar title and then the title tag is closed and the heading tag is closed now in the body tag after the heading tag we start the body tag clear so the same body tag is started here and it is closed also and within the body tag this whole address which is written this can be written in a paragraph tag so paragraph tag is started and closed and within this paragraph tag suppose we write multiple addresses in multiple lines so it can be any address so with all of these lines of the address you can notice we have initially written br tag clear so this br tag will help the browser to understand that this is the beginning of a new line okay so this is written let us save this program you all know how to save this go to the file tab and then click on save or save as so for the first time if you are saving we can use either of these save or save as any of these so let us click on the save now it is asking to give a name so what a name can be written suppose i am writing this as a address address dot html or htm clear so we have written this and save as type let it be dot txt now click on the save button now when we come to the desktop wherever this file will be saved we can go to that place to open that directly so if i come to the desktop here it is the address file you can see now open this now you can notice this the address which was written i am increasing the zoom level of this 
clear so the title which was written that is appearing on the tab and the address which was written there in that html code let us open the both things together at the same page then you can notice this more better okay let us erase this so now you can notice that this was the program which was written and this is the html page of this out or as a output clear so you can notice that the title which was written is new line the same is appearing here at the top of this web page in the browser tab and all of the lines the address lines which were written like c33 by 56 mayur vihar colony sigra varanasi what is the state and pin code which is written there the same text is appearing and as we have used the br tag in the beginning of all these lines so because of the use of this br tag all the text which is written this is breaked in those number of lines in the web page also clear so this is how the br tag can be used for writing something in multiple lines clear now let us come again to the textbook so here this was how to start a new line so this was how the output is written now let us read this update your knowledge so this paragraph tag this p stands for the paragraph which we have just seen this tag inserts a blank line after the paragraph and p tag is a container tag so we have seen also that with the paragraph tag whatever the paragraph we are writing after writing those we need to close this with the forward slash p so as this is a container tag the opening and closing tag both are required to be written clear then br tag stands for the break which we have just seen so this br tag is a empty tag and this br tag is used to move the cursor to the next line clear so whenever we use the br tag the cursor um, moves to the next line and there is a line break clear and this is a empty tag so we don't need to close this with the closing tag then the next is entities are those characters that do not appear on the keyboard for example this trademark symbol this copyright clear then registered so these are something few of the entities for which uh, we don't have the uh, you can say the buttons in the keyboard so if we are writing something like these if you want to be included in the web page so for that we have some special uh, characters which are called as entities clear and for writing this we will see further in this chapter or in the coming chapter that how we can include these entities in the web page clear so these have some special meanings for example for including these uh, the entities we can use like ampersand greater than and less than so these will be the few of the symbols which can be included for which can be written to include these entities in the coming chapters we will see how to include this clear now moving to the next that is adding a heading clear so heading is something if we want to write something in a large size or as a heading of the web page so for the heading we have multiple size uh, which is there in the html page so let us read this first so we use heading tags to define the headings in web page headings are used to separate text or add new topics on the web page so normally we also write something as a heading in the copies so this is different from the other text which is written in the page so in a similar way in a web page also when we are writing some new topic before that we can write the heading or we can write a heading on the center of the web page in the beginning of the paragraph clear so this all 
will be the use of the headings now for the headings we have different six levels clear in HTML we have six levels which range from h1 to h6 clear how many levels of the headings are there in HTML there are six levels and which range from h1 to h6 we will see uh, very soon that how we can use this and what are the different levels so out of these six levels the h1 tag is the largest heading clear and h6 is the smallest heading clear so here is the example which is given in this page so if i clear so you can see in this example there is the use of these h1 to h6 tag and whatever the heading we want to write the same can be written so let us we also write this and practically see that how this heading tag is going to be used so if I come to the previous page so suppose we have to write a heading and see how the heading tag is used now let us copy this and write a new web page so if I come to a new web page let us erase these other things all of the other things are there already now we want this title as headings suppose we are writing heading so we can give a title like this clear so all the other tags are the same we have started the page with the HTML then in the heading tag we have writing the title which is heading then after that we will start with the body tag okay so the basic tags which are there they will remain same only the other tags which is required to change that only we are changing clear now after the body tag we are going to write the heading so let us start with the h6 so h6 is the lowest size for the heading let us see so I have written h6 now any of the text we can write in between this heading and the same will appear so let us write some line or a sentence so suppose I am writing honesty is the best policy clear we can write any of the text in between these tags so here as this heading tag is also a container tag so we need to close this so here it is closed clear now this is only one tag which we have uh, written let us save this and see how it is appearing so if I save this give a name suppose I am giving this a name heading so either this can be written with the caps lock on or off clear so this is the name of this file then save uh, this with dot HTML extension clear so we have written the name heading and the extension we have written dot HTML then click on the save button so when I clicked on the save button this is saved somewhere right now it is saved on the desktop let us minimize this and see come to the desktop so here is the heading file which we have just saved now double click on this heading clear now you can see the page which we have written right now this is appearing like this we can little bit zoom in clear so whatever the text which was written there that the same text is appearing in this web page clear now let us open this both two files together then it will appear more better clear so you can see right now this was the first line and as a heading the same is appearing now let us try the other tags with this uh, the text which we have written so let us copy and uh, create the duplicate of this uh, in multiple lines clear so this was the first heading now if I uh, after the heading uh, which is right now it is h6 
so h6 is uh, the you can say the smallest heading tag after h6 let us uh, decrease the sorry decrease the number but the size is going to increase clear you can notice that when the number is decreasing the size is increasing clear so this one i am going to write h5 clear now let us write all of the lines with the different numbers so next is h4 and here also close with the h4 that is fourth level of the heading clear let us paste this that number of times which you want so uh, h6 h5 h4 then h3 and here also close this with h3 here it is h2 close this with h2 clear then this one is h1 and here again it is h1 let us for increase the readability press the enter key so that we can understand it more better so you can notice that we have written all of the uh, all of the tags for writing this heading and it is closed with the body and html and all these heading tags are also container tags that is why we are also closing this with the closing tag clear now this is written now save this so go to the file and click on the save already this file is saved so only whatever the changes we have done that will be updated now if i come to this browser window where this output is appearing so if i refresh this page you can notice the output is also appearing here clear so here you can see let us open the both pages together so here you can see the all the heading labels which we have written starting from h6 to h1 so h6 you can notice this was the first this is the minimum size clear so and after this as the number level is decreasing h1 is the h1 the level h1 is the biggest size of the heading clear so these are the six heading levels which are present in the html so this can be used for as a beginning of any web page or if you are starting any paragraph you can write this heading levels so according to the use according to the need of these headings in the web page the level of the heading can be chosen and the same will be appearing in the web page okay now coming to our textbook again let us see so if i come to the textbook here we have seen these six heading levels and for here the same is appearing in this web page also which we have just seen now let us read this update your knowledge so html is a platform independent meaning you can create or code an html file on one type of the computer and then use a browser on another type of computer to view that file as a web page clear so this is a concept called as platform independence so platform independence basically means suppose you are writing this html code in any of the device for example if you have written this on any computer and if you are seeing the output of this that is the web page so it will also open on the mobile phone or a tablet clear so that is why this is called as platform independent so platform independence itself means that the code and the output is not based on any platform or any device this can be opened and written on any of the devices and this is written for uh, compatible for all of the uh, different uh, types of uh, you can say the electronic uh, computers or mobile phones or the tablets clear the page looks the same regardless of the platform you are using clear so any of the device if you are using to open the web page the appearance of the web page will be same that is why this html is called as platform independent next point is 
headings are used to set off paragraphs of text or different sections of a page so just we have seen that the headings can be used for the different sections of the uh, page to uh, write the heading or for the beginning of any paragraph or something like that clear then headings have larger font size than normal text and are often bold or italic or a different color than normal text so right now we have uh, seen only the normal headings we can change the you can say the color as well as if you want to make it italic that is also possible but basically we have just seen that headings they appear uh, bigger than the normal text and also the there is uh, if we can say with the normal text the headings are bold so bold italic and underline feature as you use in the uh, you can say the different word processing software also in the similar way here in this html pages also to make it different we can use these options like bold and italic clear so this was uh, the topic which we have seen how we can include the heading line break and paragraph tags now in the coming class we are going to see that how we can use the alignment of this clear so you can notice for the alignment we have the align attribute so within this heading tag we can use this attribute so attribute is you can say uh, additional whatever the other additional features we want to use with any of the tags so they are called as attributes clear so uh, before this uh, revise what all we have covered today in the coming class we will see uh, about this alignment and other features of this html web page clear so practice the things which we have seen today and whatever the doubts you we have we can discuss in the coming class and whatever you are reading uh, try to write few of the programs by your own this will make your concept more clear and then you will really understand it more better when you will face any problem or any difficulty so while watching only the video you will uh, it seems that the concept is easy but when you practice it along with this it becomes more uh, you can say more much more easier to understand that is why i am emphasizing again and again to practice the these things along with and the uh, while reading these concepts okay Thank you.